Dr. Nat here, naturopathic physician and one of the medical educational consultants here at DSL. Today, I wanted to highlight why you would potentially see a high or low secretory IJ on one of your patient's GI maps. Our secretory IJ is the main immunoglobulin seen in mucosal secretions, and it is a huge part of our defense. Its job is to ensure that our internal environment is not being encroached upon by antigenic stimuli that is plentiful in our external environment. An area where we interact with our external environment daily is through what we eat. This is both a vulnerable and essential physiological process in which we have the potential to be exposed to bacteria, toxins, viruses, food proteins, and chemicals. As you know, the body is brilliant and one of our evolved defenses is secretory IgA. Secretory IgA has the ability to bind onto viruses, bacteria, and toxins and prevents them from attaching and invading our gut lining. It will then clump these microbes together through agglutination so that they get flushed out in the stool instead of causing an infection or being disruptive to the mucosal barrier. The stool secretory IJ marker might be one of my favorite markers on this test because it is one of our biggest allies and is essential in our battle to keep infections out, prevent reinfections from occurring, and maintaining homeostasis in our GI tract. So you get one of your patient's GI maps back and you see an elevation of secretory IgA. Some potential threats or irritants that might be causing your body to ramp up its defense could be a pathogenic infection. And actually I'm happy when I see elevated secretory IgA if an acute pathogen is present because it tells me that the immune system is doing exactly what it should do. It should increase its production to neutralize whatever bacteria, virus, fungus, or parasite is present. Food sensitivities or allergies. The immune system sees certain food proteins as threats and produces secretory IgA in response. Dietary irritants or toxins. Frequent consumption of processed foods, artificial additives, Alcohol, environmental toxins, and pesticides can all be an irritant to the GI tract and increase secretory IgA. Chronic inflammation. Conditions like inflammatory bowel disease can show elevated secretory IgA due to an ongoing immune activation. Initial intestinal permeability. When the gut lining is compromised initially, more antigens cross through to that lamina propria and can trigger a heightened immune response that raises secretory IgA. Acute stress, whether it's physical or emotional, that initial short-term stress can increase secretory IgA. Okay, now let's look at the opposite. So you get your patient's GI map back and they have a low secretory IgA. This usually tells us that the gut's immune system is depleted, exhausted, or suppressed. And this can happen from the following. Chronic stress. So if you have chronic high cortisol, this is going to suppress immune function, including mucosal immunity or secretory IgA. Chronic gut infections. Chronic infections without effective clearance will deplete secretory IgA production. Chronic intestinal permeability. This impairs the body's ability to adequately produce secretory IgA. We need a healthy epithelial layer to actually be able to produce that secretory IgA. So you saw that with acute stress, acute gut infections, acute or initial intestinal permeability, we see a heightened secretory IgA and the opposite is true here for chronic stress, chronic gut infections or chronic intestinal permeability, you'll actually see low secretory IgA. Other things that will cause low secretory IJ could be nutrient deficiencies. So nutrients like vitamin A, zinc, vitamin D, and glutamine are critical for a healthy mucosal layer and immunity and for the production of secretory IJ. You can also see low secretory IJ if there's immune suppression caused from medications or systemic illness, a loss of commensal or good bacteria, Fecalibacterium prisnitzi, bifidobacteria, and lactobacillus are what stimulate secretory IgA production, so a loss of these normal flora can decrease its production. And lastly, early life exposures. So if your patient has a history of C-section birth, they were not breastfed, 
or if they had frequent antibiotic use, all of those can impair gut immune development and can leave them with low secretory IgA. So now you know if your patient has elevated or low secretory IgA, what those potential causes could be.